Jordan just rises, hangs in the air forever, and just sinks it. I remember jumping off my couch and yelling, Oh man, is that true? That's unbelievable. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was really good. Um... Stop sitting around. We've got to get out of here before the Nevrons come. If we don't leave soon, we're both going to die. That's actually really fantastic. Stop sitting around. We gotta get out of here before the Nevrons come. If we don't leave soon, we're both going to die. <laughs> what the heck? Why do I? Why am I extending the words? Why do I sound like that? That's so strange. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at Microsoft's latest open source model called Vibe Voice for text to speech. Um, it's pulled up on the screen here. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about this. I haven't yet tried it out myself, so we're gonna get it up and running here. Um, these are some of the examples, but feel free to take a look at those yourself if you would like. Um, I'll link the description down below for the repository here. Um, I've already started getting this um, downloaded, so I actually have the Vibe Voice folder here already, and I've set up the virtual environment. So all I need to do is just try it out. Um, I'll go over an installation video if this is popular enough that uh, you guys want it, but for now, I'm just going to be testing it. Um, so I'll go ahead and launch this in terminal. So I'll do um, UV run demo and then the Gradio interface or the Gradio demo. Um, oh, and then I need to specify the model. So um, I went ahead and downloaded this before the video just to not have so much um, downloading time for the video. And I'll go ahead and um, do this again. Let's go ahead and launch. And so this is just going to use the Microsoft Vibe Voice large model. This is the 7 billion parameter one. Um, it's based off of Quen 2.5. Um, and so, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this up and launched. It's going to be 7860 here. Um, so here we go. We are on here and it looks very weird. Uh, let me see. Dark. Nope, we got to go light. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so here we are. Um, it looks to me that they've put together a nice Grotto interface already, so um, we don't need to make one ourselves. Um, and we just test this out. So I'll go to there. Uh, that's just examples. And uh, let's do a multi-speaker one, huh? Let's go ahead and generate this podcast here. I guess we've got Alice and Carterman here. Um, uh, we'll use their example voices and then I'm going to import some to try out myself um, just to see how it works with voice cloning and um, be the judge of that so live streaming let's check what's going on in the terminal uh, looks like it's generating here so uh, five iterations per second uh, up to nine okay so not too slow um, or um, but also not too fast either I guess it's manageable but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, oh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vibe Voice podcast. I'm your host, Linda. Okay, so it looks like out of nowhere, it just started playing. Um, so maybe the streaming audio starts playing it. Uh, we'll wait for it to finish up, and then we'll listen to a little bit of it. Okay, so uh, this finished up, and it, um, well, it took about, I'd probably say, like, uh, three to four minutes to do. Um it seems to me, though, that this is all in one generation, so it's not breaking it up. Um, and that is something completely different for text to speech. Uh, so uh, we normally have only a certain length of context limit. I had to look into this a little bit more where we can only do like 30 seconds max. But this is 2 minutes and 46 seconds. That's pretty crazy. So let's take a listen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vibe Voice podcast. I'm your host, Linda. And today we're getting into one of the biggest debates in all of sports. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? I'm so excited to have Thomas here to talk about it with me. Thanks so much for having me, Linda. You're absolutely right. This question always brings out some seriously strong feelings. Okay, so let's get right into it. For me, it has to be Michael Jordan. Six trips to the finals, six championships. That kind of perfection is just incredible. Oh man, the first thing that always pops into my head is that shot against the Cleveland Cavaliers back in 89. Jordan just rises, hangs in the air forever, and just sinks it. I remember jumping off my couch and yelling, Oh man, is that true? That's unbelievable. Right? That moment... 
Okay, so we're gonna pause it there. So it sounds pretty good. Uh, nothing completely groundbreaking um, yet in terms of quality. I'd say uh, it's just alternating back and forth. But the length of um, context that it's able to do is um, absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll, I'll need to check to see if it's actually splitting it up inside of the code um, and appending them together or if it's all one singular generation. Um, I do believe this is based off of Quent 2.5, which is a large language model, and generally that is generated sequentially. Um, but let's change this up. I have some uploaded files in here. For this, we're going to be doing two video game characters, Lune and Verso. They're from a video game that I've been playing. Um, so we're going to generate that there and then we'll take a listen to it already. So it has finished up. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vibe Voice podcast. I'm your host, Linda, and today we're getting into one of the biggest debates in all of sports. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? I'm so excited to have Thomas here to talk about it with me. Thanks so much for having me, Linda. You're absolutely right. This question always brings out some seriously strong feelings. Okay, so let's get right into it. For me, it has to be Michael Jordan. Six trips to the finals, six championships. That kind of perfection is just incredible. Oh man, the first thing that always pops into my head is that shot against the Cleveland Cavaliers back in 89. Jordan just rises, hangs in the air forever, and just sinks it. I remember jumping off my couch and yelling, Oh man, is that true? That's unbelievable. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was really good. Um, okay, so during that, I, I started laughing a little bit uh, because of the way the voice changed. And that's because I forgot that I have Verso um, in French here. So you could hear that the accent was in there. Um, so that's actually really nice. It picked up on the accent um, to English, I think, uh, well, um, and let me show you guys the samples uh, that I used real quick. Um, so here is the Lune voice. Wake up, Gustav. We're the only ones left. You don't get to die. And then the Verso one. À mi chemin du monolithe, j'ai été trahi, et je ne m'en suis tiré que de justesse. So those are the reference audios that I used for this um, generation. I want to try it now with single speaker generation. Uh, so this is actually really good. Um, wow. So let's see. We've got this here. Um, it can do other languages, I believe. Um, Chinese and... Okay, so English and Chinese so far. So that's what it's been trained on. We're going to do the same thing um, and cut out some of it. So um, it's a little bit shorter. We'll go ahead and generate this. This is with the Lune voice. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take a listen. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vibe Voice Podcast channel. I'm your host Linda, and today I want to share some very interesting and authentic Chinese expressions with you. In Chinese, when you want to say something is super easy, just a simple task, you can use the phrase xiao cai yi die. It literally means a small dish of food, but it means a piece of cake. For example, if you want to say, adding and subtracting three digit numbers is a piece of cake for me, you can say, it's yeah. The next phrase we're going to learn is, ni kai wan xiao ba. It's a very common way to express disbelief, like, are you kidding me? Or, you must be joking. For instance, when you hear an unbelievable piece of news, such as, your friend brought a t shirt using $5,000, you can say, how mal yi tian yi fu. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's actually really nice. We've got a little bit of um, Duolingo this in here, and I I feel like these were short. I can't read or understand Chinese, but I feel like it cut these sections off a little bit. Um, but it seemed like it said the other Chinese phrases inside of the sentences uh well. Um, but man, that is pretty crazy. That is really nice. Um. I do see that it says formatted script with five turns. So maybe it is just generating them all in different turns. So to mitigate that, I want to try this out with a longer generation. I've got the Great Gatsby pulled up here. Um, I always use it as kind of like a baseline. Um, we'll go back into here and do the Great Gatsby. So this is going to be one long paragraph uh, with a once, once again, Lune. And uh, we'll go ahead and generate this podcast. 
All right, so let's uh, go ahead and take a listen to this. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way, and I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me and also made me the victim of not a few veteran bores. The abnormal mind is quick to detect and attach itself to this quality when it appears in a normal person, and so it came about that in college I was unjustly accused of being a politician, because I was privy to the secret griefs of wild unknown men. Most of the confidences were unsought. Frequently I have feigned sleep, preoccupation, or a hostile levity when I realised by some unmistakable sign that an intimate revelation was quivering on the horizon. For the intimate revelations of young men, or at least the terms in which they express them, are usually plagiaristic and marred by obvious suppressions. Reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hope. I am still a little afraid of missing something if I forget that, as my father snobbishly suggested, and I snobbishly repeat, a sense of the fundamental decencies is parceled out unequally at birth. Okay, um, so there you go. Not bad. Um, it does seem like it do did this in one chunk here, formatted script with one turn, so just one long turn here. Um, and yeah, if this is generating all of this in one go, um, so that means it can do long form audio without having to chunk things up and out together. Um, or what I mean, you don't have to chunk things up and then uh, splice them together. Um, this is great. This is something that uh, we've only recently seen with something like Higgs Audio. Um, and I'm glad to see that this type of paradigm is changing. We are moving towards these um, long form um, text to speech generations. So. Let's try some smaller samples um, and try to get a little bit more expression in here. So let's say something like, okay, so I just came up with this um, real quick. Uh, so stop sitting around. We got to get out of here before the Neverlands come. If we don't leave soon, we're both, go both going to die. So go ahead and generate the podcast with this. And I realize I can just pause it so it doesn't start playing out out of nowhere. And so here we go. Um, I wonder if I can make it faster. Like it's only doing like five iterations a second, um, but I'll play around with that later. So here we go. Let's take a listen to this. Stop sitting around. We got to get out of here before the Nevrons come. If we don't leave soon, we're both going to die. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. That is getting there. It's not a hundred percent, but you can see that the emotions uh, were present. Um, I think it lost a little bit of the voice cloning quality there, um, but uh, not too bad. Now, I have to figure out what the CFG uh, means for the model here. If I do recall from like other things, it's supposed to increase the, um, it says guidance strength, guidance strength of the reference audio, I think. Uh, so it's finished generating here. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Stop sitting around. We got to get out of here before the Nevrons come. If we don't leave soon, we're both going to die. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, okay. That came out so much better. Um, it's, it's, that's actually really fantastic. Um, if we think about it, um, we might be able to get more emotional stuff out of here. Um, if we can get some fine tuning going, um, I think they say they are going to release the training code. So that's going to be fantastic. We're going to be able to fi fine tune and train this. Uh, so here we go. To do release example training code and documentation. So that's going to be coming out soon. I'll be sure to make a video about that. Um, but man, this is crazy. These text to speech models are finally getting better and better. It's starting to um, kind of converge to singular large models. Uh, let's try it with me. Uh, let's get my voice up in here and uh, we'll generate audio for the same sentence. So now I'm saying that we got to get out of here. So um, the only downside is I think the speed here isn't the best. Maybe one to one real time on my 4090. But here we go. Let's take a listen. Stop sitting around. We got to get out of here before the Nevrons come. If we don't leave soon, we're both going to die. <laughs> what the heck? Why do I, why do I sound like that? <laughs> what the heck? All right. Oh, no, 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 no. I like that. So let's generate the podcast at 1.3. Um, yeah, I sound like, uh, like uh, that's like I'm on the verge of crying. Wow. That was quick. Okay. Let's, let's generate. Uh, let's listen. 
Stop sitting around. We gotta get out of here before the Nevrons come. If we don't leave soon, we're both going to die. <laughs> what the heck? Why do I? Why am I extending the words? Why do I sound like that? That's so strange. But okay, so I, I would say the voice cloning for my voice uh, is not one to one. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go and play around with this model a little bit more and uh, see uh, what we can do with it. Um, turn it into a package so that I can use it in some of my projects. But yeah, this is a super exciting Vibe Voice. If you guys want to see more content on Vibe Voice, um, feel free to let me know down in the comments below or if you've tried it yourselves. But uh, yeah, once again, I would like to thank all the members of the channel for supporting me. Very much appreciate it. And I will see all of you all in a future video.